All right, so tessellations are awesome, and I actually really enjoyed um, spending well over an hour finding pictures of tessellations for you. Uh, I wanted to find um, some some good examples of of tessellations, and the pictures needed to be in the public domain so I could use them. So I I think I came up with four good examples for you here. Uh, I've got a honeycomb. Uh, that's my favorite, and this is a naturally occurring tessellation. These honeybees create this pattern uh, which is based on hexagons so these are all hexagons these little shapes here these six sided figures um, and all the hexagons are touching each other there's no space in between them um, but they don't overlap each other either and the whole surface is filled with these hexagons and that's what a tessellation is it's a pattern of two dimensional figures that fills up a plane um, uh, a two dimensional surface without any gaps or overlaps and um, examples are with with hexagons you know this is a regular tessellation where you use a regular polygon like a hexagon and it's just one um, one shape it's just hexagons here you can also have a combination of of shapes to complete a tessellation so here's another example um, it's a pretty sweet piece of art that an origami artist created um, this is not a complete plane, uh, you know. It's not an infinite two-dimensional surface, but this is the good beginnings of of a tessellated um, surface, where it's made up of um, quadrilaterals, really, uh, these four-sided shapes, and you get the illusion actually that there's these three D cubes there. But that illusion is created by putting these shapes together and rotating them, and they all fit together perfectly well, and they're not overlapping each other. And there aren't any, uh, there's any space in between them. So that is an example of a tessellation. Um, here's one that's more computer generated. It's just a bunch of equilateral triangles filling up a um, surface, and they're shaded differently. So it also gives that 3D effect if you look at it in a certain way. And here's a here's a cool one. Kind of looks like a soccer ball. Um, this surface has been wrapped around a sphere, and uh, there's these interesting quadrilaterals here. I'm not sure exactly what to call that other than it's a quadrilateral four-sided shape. Um, that, And then if you put them all together without any space in between them, without overlapping them, they fill up this surface. So, so those are tessellations, and you can create your own. You should try it. I recommend it. Uh, they're pretty cool, and you can get some pretty ingenious designs if, uh, if you try hard. So good luck and have fun. Oh, I should point out that um, Mass Ceratops here um, try to create a tessellation. Um, using his own shape, um, but that's a total fail because uh, one, there's space in between the shapes, so that's not gonna work. And he's kind of overlapping himself, so yeah, that's that's not good. Uh, much easier to do with a three-sided or four-sided um, um, shape like that, or or even a hexagon. Uh, crazily irregular shapes like like a triceratops type deal, not gonna really work for a tessellation. But you might have seen. Um, examples of of fish um, being used to tessellate a a surface. Look that up. Fish tessellation. See what you find.